Right, welcome back to Milk It Reviews. If you've been a subscriber to Milk It Reviews, you'll know that I have a thing about sunglasses. <coughs> Sorry, I wear sunglasses like the rest of you, right, when it's hot and sunny, right, and keep the, the UV rays and the, the bright light out of my eyes. But also wear them an awful lot for shooting because at the end of the day, right, if you get the right type of glasses, they act as safety glasses as well. Now, I always used to use a brand called Wiley, Wiley X, and I'm sure you've all heard of them. I had this thing about the design of 511 glasses, right, and when it came along to it, right, a little bit later on in my time, I then found out that Wiley X and 511 had basically joined forces in producing the 511 um, range of sunglasses. Now, I'm not sure whether they all produce manufactured by Wiley X, but I know the ones that I have have been manufactured by them. These are the Aileron Shield. They've not been released very long. Um, there's one of the things that attracted me to these is the grey frames. Right, um, I've got other 511 glasses, which you would know if you've watched any of my other videos. Um, and at the end of the day, right, they're all black. Right, and I just quite like the idea of something a little bit different. Right, um, as you can see, right, these have got the tinted lenses in them. They're interchangeable, the lenses on these. Right, together with the tinted lenses, you get the clear ones. So you've pretty much got yourself a pair of safety glasses and for the low light conditions you have the amber ones right or if you want to try like my daughter done put the amber ones on in the bright sunlight and then scream <coughs> sorry i wouldn't advise that um, it does tend to make things a little bit bright there's nice little touches to these i mean we're going to the change of the lenses in a minute but it's the attention to detail that i like and i like this a lot you've got these microfiber storage bags this is for your two spare sets of lenses now inside this bag you've got a divider so when you actually pop your lenses into the bag you've got a piece of microfiber material that's sandwiched in between them so consequently, when you've got them in the bag and they're done up, they're not going to rub together and scratch or mark each other. The, um, it, that sort of thing I love to bits because when it comes down to it, you're spending a fair bit of money on a quality product. And the last thing that you want is, on those odd occasions, you might want to switch the clear or amber lenses when you get them out. They're either covered in marks or they've been sitting there rubbing together in your kit bag for the last couple of months and they're scratched, right? They, just that little attention to detail is going to prevent that from happening. <coughs> Sorry. You've got a retaining lanyard. Right, now these are all the same with the 511 sunglasses, right? And the one thing I've found, it's the only fault, and it's, it's not really a huge problem, the only fault I've ever found is that this adjusting piece will come straight off the end of the nylon. Now, I found a little way of overcoming that, right? And it's just simply find the center point, which is that, fold it over, just put a couple of stitches in that. It just creates that little lump that will stop that sliding off the end. If it's not a problem to you, then don't worry about it. But it's just me, right? It's just the first time I've done it and it slipped off, I thought, blast and a few other choice words and then thought I don't want that to happen again and just put a couple of stitches in and it was job done. They're a good wrap around design so you're getting fantastic eye protection from these. But let me just move that out of the way that's better. Right you you are getting very very good eye protection. The other good thing with the design of these <coughs> sorry is you don't get any distortion. Now to me that's something that is very very important as I'm sure it is to you guys as well. Um, I have to have good clarity of vision, right, the same as you do. And some sunglasses out there, I'm afraid, 
they do distort right um, it's not a problem that I've had with these the frames that with these although they're incredibly flexible they are very very strong I mean I don't know exactly what they're made out of but they do do a good sound job right if you drop them they don't chip they don't break right um, I'm not gonna attempt to give scenarios as to how much protection these will offer you for obvious reasons um, but what I can say is is that despite the fact they give you a hundred percent UV protection you will find that these meet the following safety standards right um, it's ANSI Z87.1 2010 and EN1 66 and in brackets plus F now I personally don't know what that means but what I can say is the military standard that these actually exceed and that's the important point is MIL dash GL dash PD dash 10 dash 12 <coughs> Sorry, again, I don't know exactly what that means, but what I can say is, is that military standards normally make things soldier proof. And if these can exceed being soldier proof, then they've got to be good. Right, now, the carry case that comes with it, sorry, you, you get one of these microfiber cloth bags as well for the glasses to um, slip into, which I must say, right, is, is great. The other thing is they double up as a cleaning cloth. So you haven't got that other worry, right? I mean, just breathe on the lenses, give it a rub with that carry case, and they're squeaky clean. Every pair of 511 glasses I've got, I've got one of these superb carry cases, right? You've got molly, just a single molly attachment point on the back there. doesn't need any more. Right, you can work this so it becomes a belt loop if you want to carry it on your trouser belt. Um, it gives a superb amount of protection, and all of these bits fit inside that case right these are so strong I mean I just chuck one of these right in whatever bag I'm carrying and I know that those glasses are going to stay in good condition not that they're going to break right bearing in mind how strong they are I think it just keeps them clean it keeps them organized and at the end of the day it stops them getting scratched right so you know great great product um, I do get questions about the cord that is inside here bearing in mind you've got the molly on here, you could attach that to a vest. The cord on this, you can shorten so that when you open it, it just allows it to open 90 degrees, or maybe shorter if that's what you want. It just produces a little tray here for putting your bits and pieces in. So again, it's something you just find a little bit helpful. But it's just those little attentions to detail that I love about these, putting a cord on the case so you know it doesn't flop right open and the contents fall out. The bit you've been waiting for, ch lens changing. Now, if you've got any of these multi-lens 511 glasses, the one thing you'll notice is, <coughs> sorry, they pretty much all work the same way. Right, with these, to take the lens out, you just pull them in the middle, right, and then they pop out each end. And there's your, your lenses. And to change the nose piece, Right, you just pop this quite good to do. Right, there you go. Well, he does it easily. Pop that out. You just pop these back into the other lenses, and away you go. Right, you've then got your lens changed. Right, exactly. You want it into. Put them back together again. It's just a simple reversal of the dismantling process. He says struggling. Right, um, that's that in there. I just pop the middle back in. And they're done seconds and then you just use your cloth bag right to give them a polish and you're laughing now according to the information that I've got if you are lucky enough to live in the United States <coughs> sorry these glasses you can have in your glasses prescription Right, now, as far as I'm aware, it's only available in the USA. 
which to me is a huge shame. Now, I don't wear eyeglasses other than for reading very small print. I'd like to see that facility extended around the world because prescription ready sunglasses, especially to this level, these go beyond just being sunglasses. These are safe, very high quality, high grade safety glasses as well. To have those available in prescription form, as far as I'm concerned, they're worth their weight in gold. So if you're listening 511, right, if it's possible to make this available worldwide, please do it. Right, I, I really think that you will reap the benefit of that in a massive way. The other thing that I'll say, now I haven't got details of the product yet, but if you look on 511's website, right, um, I think they cost about $22, so they really aren't a lot of money at all. I've noticed on 511's website that they have a pair of sort of glasses frames, but without the, the ear extenders, right, and I say they're cheap, they're plastic frames, I'm sure they're good quality, but they actually clip inside some of these glasses, Now I'm not sure which ones, unfortunately we don't seem to have them here in the UK, right, um, but they clip inside the glasses and they create sort of eyeglasses frames inside that you can have prescription lenses fitted into. All right, once you've bought your frames, it then means you've got to go back to your optometrist and you've got to get your prescription fitted. And it's going to cost you a few pounds. But at the end of the day, you've now got the perfect combination. So I think if you're outside of the USA and you can't get these right in a prescription form, then I think what you should be looking for is the actual frames that 511 have got on their website and choose a suitable pair of glasses from the 5.11 range to fit the frames into. <coughs> Sorry. And then you can go and have your prescription lenses fitted into those frames. The other good thing about it is you can always remove the frames from the glasses. So it swings and roundabouts. Right, if you've got any questions about these, please feel free to ask me. Now I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to get quite a few questions about these, especially on the prescription front. Um, I, I, I'll openly admit at the moment I don't know a huge amount about the prescription side of things other than I'm pretty sure that I'm right in saying that it's USA only. Um, if you do have any questions, please drop me a line. If I can't answer them, I will fire the questions off to other people and see if they can get them answered for you because I think it's something that's very, very important and I think that when it comes down to the nitty gritty, right, this sort of eyewear in prescription format is really really worth its weight in gold so please feel free to drop me a line as always if you've got any questions at all please drop me a line right now I don't mind you asking questions if it's something I can answer straight away you'll get an answer back within a day or two if it is something that is more technical or I don't know the answer to I will fire it off and come back to you with the correct answer and that is an absolute promise if you're, a new, if you're new to Milk It Reviews and you found us through a Google search or what have you, please hit the subscribe button. I don't get paid for this. I don't make any money out of it. I do it because I have a lot of faith in 5.11. I don't work for them. They don't pay me to do these. Um, I use a lot of their kit. Right? If you knew what I was wearing at the moment, well, I'll tell you, a pair of 5.11 shorts, polo shirt, training shoes, and a watch. Right now, it's all stuff that I've reviewed over the years. <coughs> it's still going strong. This is why I love it so much. It's top quality kit. So, any questions, any queries, drop me a line. If you're new to uh, Milk It Reviews, please hit the subscribe button. Lots more videos coming out in the near future. If you're a subscriber, you get the updates. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.